So what we're going to show with this experiment is exactly why you shouldn't be sitting at the dinner table watching the storm come in. You need to get yourself to a safe space, and we're going to show you exactly why you need to do that. Okay, so this is a custom-built 2x4 cannon. It's air-powered. It's going to show a 2x4 in about 100 mile an hour winds, which is representative of an EF1 tornadic wind. Uh, we're going to show this going through the sliding glass door, and we'll talk about what happened and why you need to get yourself to a safer spot than behind there. All right, so... Yes, two, one. Wow. 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 Yeah. This is representing 100 mile an hour winds in about an EF1 tornado. The 2x4 itself is going about 35 miles an hour, which is the speed at which it would be traveling in a 100 mile an hour storm. We shot through the sliding glass door already. Now we're going to shoot through the wall. It's standard construction. It's OSB covered in wrap and siding, and then 2x4 insulation and wall on the other side. So we're going to fire it through and show you why not only can you not stand behind a glass door, but also not behind an exterior wall. Okay, clear? Firing in three, two, one. You know, obviously different materials might have a different effect, but sooner or later, like you said, Jim, you're going to have more and more debris. This is only a 100 mile an hour wind, uh, only an EF1 tornado. So as more and more speed picks up, more and more debris can get through. And as soon as you have a hole in the house, you're worried about a pressure situation. That's when the roof can lift. That's when the walls can move. Uh, we're going to show the kind of damage you can expect from two inch hail between a golf ball and a baseball size hail. Let's fire the gun once and show you the kind of damage we get, and then we'll talk about it. All right, so Chris, I'm going to be the, the, the pessimist at home and say, well, hail doesn't come in sideways. It comes in at an angle. What do you say to that? Yes, it does. Uh, let's fire this now at three, two, one. Okay, Jim, to your point. Yeah, hail doesn't come in sideways, but what we're firing is at 70 miles an hour, which is representative of wind-driven hail. Right. Gotcha. We're free-falling right. hail. It's the same speed. And so what you see here is you get this kind of damage. And of course, we shot the wall up so you can see multiple impacts from hail. But when you do have this, just like we talked about earlier, now you have a hole in your house. Yeah. So water can get in, yep. wind can get in. You have to worry about uplift. What, what is that material, Chris? What is the material? This is just standard construction. Okay. This is vinyl siding. Okay. Uh, nothing okay. special about this wall. But and still, we are going to fire the hail gun again. But still, big hail represents a problem to the homeowner where you're going to have to obviously put a claim in and, and ensure that, right? Or, or, or get that's it fixed. right. That's right. And wh that's why, that's why we're doing the research here. We want to understand: Are there materials that are more impact resistant? And if you've got this kind of damage to the side of your house, you can imagine what you have to the roof of your house.